What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Cancer for the month of October 2020, so take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to you because it's your story in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I've already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Cancer. So let's get right into the reading. We pulled the Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Coins as the outcome. Okay, so... The Four of Swords represents a situation where you are temporarily in something. It is not a permanent situation. The way that I like to paint this card is, let's say that you move out um, far away from everything that you know, and you get a year's lease on an apartment. And you, in three months in, you decide you're going to break, you don't want to break the lease, but you decide you hate it there, and when the time is up, and when the rest of the nine months come and go, you're going to be out of there. You're going to be planning for this to be out of there because you hate it. The landlord is a cuck. Everybody is, your roommates suck. The house is falling apart. Nobody's doing anything to take care of it. Uh, your job is awful. You don't like anybody there. You don't like the location. Everything. Um, but you're, you're deciding that, okay, I don't, I can't afford this right now. I'm temporarily stuck in this. So until then, because I know that this isn't my forever, I am going to mentally remove myself from this situation and sleep with my swords by my bed. This is kind of like sleeping with a gun under your pillow, um, where you are taking rest and, and, uh, reprieve and making sure that you regain yourself and your mental well-being. If somebody were to come up to you and challenge you during this time, you would be ready to defend yourself. But it's kind of, um, a, it's a wary rest. You are being wary about this. You're you're definitely taking rest, but you know it's in the back of your mind. Until you get out of this, you're gonna have to um, be a little bit strong-minded during this time. The Seven of Pentacles came up, which means, um, honestly, this is the farming card. It represents reaping what you sow, but don't do it before it is too late. Uh, I mean, don't pick what you are um, trying to grow before it is ready to be picked. It represents, let's say that I am trying to plant a flower. I, I till the seed, I till the soil, I fertilize it, I water it, and then I let it grow for however long it takes that individual plant to grow. Um, and let's say that I'm about to pick a flower that hasn't blossomed yet. I can see it's just about to blossom, but that would be the uh, the equivalent of me going up to that flower, putting in all that hard work, and plucking it. It makes no sense. Why would you do that? That's kind of the warning here. Um, it's not. This is not a negative reading. Um, so I'm like, I know I'm being like a little bit like a like oof about this, but this is not a bad reading. The Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signed woman. She is a queen. In the star sign of um, of the Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they are the most stubborn. They are the most stable. They are the most practical, grounded, loyal, and faithful. Um, but they are like being stubborn and being patient is kind of their thing, um, and they are kind of infuriatingly so. Like they will, they. <laughs> will not let something drop until they get it done their way. Um, they know how to have goal success. It makes them good leaders. They are higher mindset than the others in the suit of tarot, which makes them more of themselves. They understand what they're doing. They are leaders. They have that success. Um, it means that they are more emotionally uh, mature than others or physically older than you or anyone else. Um, having this all together... Um, the queen, I might have to uh, draw a card for clarity because basically what I'm seeing, this is not a bad outcome. The seven of pentacles and the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles together is not a bad card. I feel like this might be, I'm going to ask to see what kind of, um, why is the queen of coins here? What, what's her significance in this spread for cancer? The wheel of fortune reversed. It was everything was reversed. So when I uh, when I do that, it's because my whole deck was upside down. So I read it um, in the upright. 
So the queen of the queen of pentacles is here because the wheel of fortune indicating the wheel of fortune is a card representing to kind of allow things to happen the way that they are supposed to. Um, kind of giving up control. One minute you're at the bottom, one minute you're at, at the top. You can't really control it, but you can specifically and very directly. We get um, we get dealt with hands of cards, and sometimes they're shit. Um, sometimes they're really good. We get dealt these hands in life. And um, we might not get to decide that we got those hands, but we directly get to decide how we play them. And how we play them, play them changes the game and thusly changes your fate. So you do have a say in this. Um, your response is everything. So basically what I'm getting from this is... I feel like the Queen of Coins could potentially be a romantic interest. It doesn't have to be. It's not coming out very steady for that. Um, but she is somebody strong in your life. What I feel like, if I am going to be reading this romantically, I feel like it is having struggled in relationships before, kind of being in a mental mindset where you are kind of, I don't want to say you're trapping yourself into something, but I heard that, um, where you're kind of, you've been dealt kind of maybe not the best cards and you are trying to recover from something that might have happened recent or long ago. Um, but you are, you're being, I, I feel like this is a good outcome. I feel like you have been going through the ringer. I feel like you have been trying to learn the lesson of, okay, um, I'm going through bad things, but I know that my luck is going to change. I know that I get to respond directly to what is going on, and I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to be putting in the work um, to get a favorable outcome with this. Now, the Queen of Coins did come out. Uh, she could be romantic or not, but if I am reading this romantically, to me, this could be a spread of... Um, Maybe being a little bit um, reserved and not really open, kind of four of cups, not really giving or taking emotion. Um, it's a four, so it is kind of a stable energy here, where it does, I get the feeling that maybe you were a little bit off. on um, You're maybe in a situation where you can't fully reciprocate, but you want to see where this goes. And you're kind of allowing yourself to give up control, to relinquish that power, and just see what happens with this Queen of Coins. I'm going to ask where this ends up with this Queen of Coins, because I think it's going to be a good outcome. It is. The Emperor represents success, victory, and the planning needed to get to something. So this is saying, altogether, I feel like even though, yes, you were letting things happen the way you needed to, you also planned for this to go a certain way because you were planting the seed here and being very, very patient about it. Whatever it is that you're doing that involves this queen of, uh, of coins, be it, you know, she, she might be a friend, she may be you, she might be your goal success, she might be a romantic partner, it doesn't matter who she is. There's success coming to you because of this, working on this with her, with inside of yourself. It's going to lead to success, Cancer. This is really, really good. Um, this is insanely good energy, and I wish you all the best. Happy October. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.